Now we're gonna walk you through how to install a Monotote Max or Max Plus carrier. First, we're gonna open up the box. Once you've unboxed, make sure you have all the parts. You should have an MTX platform, the square tube that goes into the receiver, both parts of the wheel stop chalk, two tie down arms, the main track, and the loading ramp. In addition to that, you should have two bags of hardware. For the first step, we're gonna insert the square tube into the trailer hitch. Note the label on which side it says to put into the vehicle first. Make sure the holes are on the side and then insert. From the hardware kit, grab the zero wobble bolt. Grab the nut and the bolt and insert them into the trailer hitch. From the opposite end, grab the bolt with the handle and hand tighten. If you notice a small crease in the square tube and a light bend up, don't worry, it's intended. It's to prevent hitch droop. Grab the MTX platform and slide it on to the square tube. Grab the MTX platform hardware. With one washer and one bolt, insert it into the first hole. Grab a second bolt and washer and insert it into the second hole. Place a washer over each of the bolts and then add nuts. For the quickest installation, we recommend using a socket wrench and then a wrench to hold the other side. Take the open end and the socket wrench and begin to tighten. Continue the process as you want to close the gap around the outside. Repeat the tightening procedure for the back bolt. This is an area where a lot of customers can go wrong. While it might seem that this bolt has been completely tightened, there still is some gap in the hitch. So ensure you come back and give it an extra effort and tighten this as much as you can. Once these two bolts have been tightened enough, there should be no gap between the MTX platform and the receiver tube. If there's any movement that occurs, it should be off of the main bar, and that's because the zero wobble bolt hasn't been fully tightened. At the end of the installation process, we'll tighten the zero wobble bolt and then come back and check this connection to ensure that it's as tight as it can be.